Hello for this week's Savour Story. I'm in Piltan and I'm talking to Bart Sermon and we're here on the Dizzy Goat Farm. Now this is one of Bart's five farms and he's rearing these fabulous goats in the background here. Bart, great name. Dizzy Goat Farm, where did you come up with it? Uh, might be sort of a funky name, a sort of a brand which we, we the, the main idea was actually to produce goat's milk ice creams, something unique, but then demand uh, came from uh, local customers to start producing cheese and experimenting with that and uh, people start being happy with that and uh, that's that's where we went you know uh, with uh, and that's where we are now and uh, you, you, you will have various of uh, cheeses for example this Christmas like ash coated and uh, beautiful uh, molded in various styles so uh, there, there, there's more to come so you seven you're 17 years in business and five farms and these are all your products here so it's just not goat's cheese can you tell us what we have here on the table uh we have uh, we, we we do first of all good few types of uh, good few flavors of our goat's cheese um so there is a garlic and dill uh, there's a plain with just himalayan salt also there's uh which is not here at the moment this pistachio and lemons and black pepper which is very popular um we we, we use our goat's milk way to uh, produce um, breads uh, which are way easier to digest uh, than um, obviously cow's milk and cow um, yeah, this, so, is, this is a really interesting brand right now tell us exactly the ingredients in it because I'm fascinated by this <laughs> so goat's milk way uh, we have uh, local produce uh, white flour and brown, brown flour um, a bit of uh, soda, uh, pink Himalayan salt again, brown sugar, uh, caramelized organic oil, and uh, quite a bit of uh, margarine, which I'm uh, quite fond of. It. So that's a Polish herb? Uh, it's, it's a herb which would be widely uh, used in Poland. Right, Bring us yes. back to your roots. You're from Poland. Uh, you're living here in Kikheni in Stony Bird. Your partner is a Kikheni lady. Yes. So you're well rooted. Some people might know you, you worked in the restaurant trade in Kikheni as well. Side to go to the other side and produce food instead. Why the change of career? Um, I suppose this was always a childhood dream of mine from visiting family farms, and um, that's, 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 that's always something which has been on the back of my head. That's why but you didn't we... grow up in a farm? No, no, no. We, I grew up in the city, and it's a big, quite a big city, uh, but that, 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 that's. Uh, been an opportunity here, uh, living uh, sort of near the countryside, okay. starting little micro farms, and uh, from from one tiny quarter right here, we have probably now around uh, 40 acres in total uh, between five of those locations. So uh, and 40 goats and around 40 goats, 40 wild boars, uh, plus minus 40, 50 hens, uh, uh, a couple of goats uh, here and there on different farms. So do you ever take a day off? Uh, rarely, yeah. rarely. Uh, every, 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 every half of a decade. <laughs> okay. So your hobby has turned into this full business in 17 years. You were telling me you never could take a day off, but you absolutely love it and you're really passionate about it. Well, every day is a holiday, you know, so uh, that's the way we, we look at it and uh, we, we love it what we do, we enjoy it. And, uh, and, what, and what's different about your business? Like they're not organic, but they're free range. They, they're totally free range. So our poultry, our goats, our wild boar uh, is uh, reared free range around Kikane. Um, they they've never been locked inside unless it's obviously lush and raining. Uh, but they always have kind of access to the outdoors and uh, rooting around, eating the wild herbs. The land never isn't sprayed with anything, so it's as, as natural as we can get. And we're trying to source always. Uh, local grains uh, to, 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 um, to keep everything as local as we can. And who looks after the farm? Because as you said, you've got five micro farms. That's it, yes. Yeah. So uh, there is a gentleman here which is very knowledgeable uh, gentleman which looked after goats for, for the last 40 years. Uh, he's retired now, but he kindly uh, support us and uh, do some of our works with the goats, like milking and uh, uh, then we have another couple of farms where there's um, one kind of volunteer which just loves to look after a few goats. He has a family of little people and uh, uh, 
So we're very really fortunate with people around us and neighbors and um, our couple part-time staff members, which 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 loves it and uh, they just dedicated to it. So it's like a community. You have a great team. That's it. Yes. So that's why it's busy with farms. You know, it's not just the one location. It's not just the one person. It's a good few of us which uh, support of us and uh, same as people in the restaurants which give us. A good support uh, during these hard times. So talking about restaurants, you said you've gone, you supply restaurants with your products. How many do you supply now with COVID? How, how, how if you had to turn the product around or the business around? Uh, well, out of probably around 16 restaurants, we're down to two at the moment, uh, as most of them will be closed or just certainly reduce the orders. So we, we, we're fortunate to have a few shops uh, a, a shop and another place which uh, is a great ambassador to us, um, which is our own, always has a little shelf of little cheeses and uh, products of ours. Um, another place would be the Green Grocer, which would uh, be brilliant. Uh, and there's many. Yes. And will you also sell from your home? If people want to order any of these products, where can they find you? We used to we used to deliver this to, to people's doors in County Kilkenny and neighboring counties, but uh, since since March uh, we, we we sort of decided to do contactless either deliveries if someone really can get to us, we, of course we will deliver um, free of charge uh, to the to the location. Uh, Without any sort of contacts, you can pay through account or PayPal or, or, or whatever, and people just come at the moment and just collect it on our table outside and okay. uh, leave it money in the box. Or, uh, and they can uh, find all that information on your website. They can find the most information through 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 through, through the website, yes, or through through uh, various social media. But you have the kitchen beside your house. You're at Ashfield East, so if they want to come along, they can pick up their produce there. That's it. Because yeah, I think this with bread. That's going to be a weekly purchase of mine. Just give us a couple of days of notice and yes. so you can have uh, anything probably out of uh, 100 products which we, we may. Uh, so it's just, you know, this is just the tip of the iceberg uh, from this what we have. And uh, we're trying to go with seasons, so from various forage things. Uh, That's right, you told me you are training your dogs to go into the woods and, yes. and for foraging. Tell we, we, we're them training more about this. For, for travels uh, since a good half a year now. Uh, they, they always obviously uh, are great companions when I'm picking saps and various herbs and wild garlics for, for restaurants. So uh, we, we, we have a great time and uh, it's, it's, it's nice to see, you know, food scene is growing and have uh, more and more exi exciting uh, types of food and uh, different than you eat. You are obviously very passionate about what you do. Would you recommend anybody to go into this way of life? Uh, definitely, definitely. You, you do have to love it uh, for, from the very start. Uh, you, you do sacrifice in quite a bit of your life, but uh, it's, it's brilliant, you know, it's brilliant and uh, children love it. Um, so it's, it's, it's definitely uh, something which everybody should try uh, some way, you know, from growing a couple of vegetables in the garden or having a chicken or a dog or uh, uh, as, 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 as the COVID starts, uh, tons of people contact yes. us, can we buy a goat, can we buy chickens, <laughs> uh, and we help some people to buy some hens, and uh, and people love it, and they said they never wouldn't stop, uh, they, they, they will keep continue, and uh, it's a great way to, to live. Any plans for the future? Uh, definitely, yes, we, 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 we definitely won't stop, uh, we, we, we will continue, and uh, uh, we'll see what's coming months will, you know, uh, bring to us and uh, but definitely we, we, we plan to extend the range of goat's milk products and uh, wild boar uh, products so definitely there is always something new behind the car. Right, lovely to talk to you today. Pleasure. I can't wait for that camera to stop because we're going to talk <laughs> into this. So far from the Dizzy Goat Farm. Thank you very much for uh, giving us the opportunity.